Have you been wondering how to add blurs or witness protection to your faces or objects while video editing? Well, today we're going to be showing you how to do this for free in HitFilm Express. So check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. And if you are new to this channel, we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to blur or do witness protection on faces and objects within your video editing. Maybe you've got some faces you wanna hide or credit card numbers that you don't wanna show or just personal information when you're doing your video editing. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to hide that for free using a free piece of software called HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express is a video editor that I basically do all of my video editing on for both my YouTube channels. So let's jump on over to my desktop and get right into it. All right, so if you haven't downloaded HitFilm Express already, I'll put a link below in the description so you can find it there. Once you get to this page, just go ahead and click download HitFilm Express and you can slide this face over to the left-hand side. Now they do have some options here if you do wanna add add-ons, but it, again, it's totally free. Just click download here and you can download it for free for both Windows and Mac. All right, so once you've done that, you can load up HitFilm Express. It's gonna look something like this. If it's the first time for you, it might have a white background. I've got the add-on of the black background. And if it looks a little bit different, just go ahead and click on window here at the top, hover over workspace and click on editing. And that should bring you to the same workspace that I'm working in. I've already gone ahead and added a video in here that we're gonna be adding some blur to. Now, if you're not sure how to fully edit in HitFilm Express, I've made a 35 minute tutorial. It is in the description below. You can watch through that and it'll show you the basics of editing a full video. All right, so let's go ahead and start adding a blur to this video. You can see it's just myself talking here. I've turned down the volume so you don't need to listen to it. We're gonna add a blur or a witness protection to my face here. And in order to do that, make sure your video clip here is selected. And in the effects tab here at the bottom left that says search and effects, it might be on history or text, make sure effects is selected here. And go ahead and type in witness protection. You're gonna see, you just start typing it and that effect is gonna pop up and you can see it's highlighted in blue. I'm just gonna drag that over into my editor timeline over here on the right hand side, holding down the left mouse button. Once I've got it over there, you can see it's created a green box around my video click. I'm, clip, I'm just gonna let go and watch over my face what happens in that area. There's gonna be a, a blur that comes up and you can see it came up right up here. We can move that around. Now I'm gonna show you how to adjust the size and adjust if it's pixelated or blurred here in just a moment. So um, in order to do that, let's go ahead and over on the left-hand side, if you click, make sure again that your video clip is highlighted. And in the top left-hand corner, you're gonna see an option here that says effects and there's witness protection right under it now. And there's a little arrow. We can go ahead and click on that so it expands it out. And we've got our, our blur or witness protection on our face, but we can go ahead and change what that looks like. So the top one here where it says preset, if I click on that, there's a whole bunch of different options, almost recognizable, blur extreme, blur moderate, blur subtle, pixelated, heavy, medium, and small. So for example, if I click on blur extreme, it's gonna make an extreme blur. Um, if I go on pixelated heavy, it's gonna do a pixelated look. So you can choose whatever you like. I'll let you go through those. From there, we can go ahead and adjust the size. So um, we can also adjust the shape a little bit. Not, it's gonna always be kind of a circle shape, but we can adjust how wide it is in the X value or um, how high it is in the Y value. I'll show you that in just a moment. But for the size, we can go ahead and just adjust it by sliding the slider here on the left-hand side. Um, we can adjust the edges as well. So how far towards the edge of that circle, you can see there's a dotted line and a solid line here. We can adjust that. So if I do um, edge softness, I can add that out and it'll pixelate a little bit further out. Um, there's an option here on the left-hand side that says shape. If I click on that, this is where we would adjust the X and Y value. So if I adjust this, to the X, it's gonna make it wider and the Y will make it shorter and taller. So you can adjust that however you like. You can actually adjust the rotation here as well on the left-hand side. So I could tilt it if I wanted to go the other way. 
And if I click on this position arrow here on the left hand side, it's going to give me a few more options. So I could move it around if I, I can move it around with my mouse here on the picture, but I could also move it around here on the left hand side. And then down below that, there's a couple more options for you to look at on the left there. So um, again, you can select between pixelate or blur. So if I click on blur right now, it is a mild blur, but I can click again below. There's another menu and we can adjust that right there as well. So the strength of it. So if I want a really extreme blur or just a mild blur, I can adjust that there. If I want to pixelate it, I can select pixelate here. And again, we can adjust the block size. So if you want bigger blocks or smaller blocks and the random source, you can adjust that as well. So um, you can do a whole bunch of customizations with your um, blurs or your witness protection. And it's that easy to add those to your faces and objects within HitFilm Express. So let me just show you what the final product will look like if I hit play here. You can see it's all pixelated over my face. And again, just play around with it so it looks perfect for yourself. If I switch it over to blur and hit play, again, the same thing, you can't see my face and you can adjust this so it works perfect for your videos. So if you'd like to learn more about video editing, don't forget I've got that link below in the description to get you started with editing in HitFilm. If this video did give you value, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.